Okay, uh, another Type R video, and this time I'm gonna take you on a little bit of a different trip. I haven't hit my 1,000 kilometers yet, so I'm not gonna rip it yet. I'm at 850. However, I also do a bunch of car photography, and I'm gonna give you a behind the point of view scenes of me shooting the Type R just at a little location outside Winnipeg. So we'll drive out there, I'll talk a little bit about the kind of equipment I use, and uh, you can follow me at Cool Car Crap Car. Also on Instagram, which is my photography uh, leaning uh, spot there, I guess. Anyhow, uh, so we're gonna drive out, take some shots, and I'll show you kind of what I do to take some pictures of this, especially when it's uh, a very hazy night around Winnipeg, so we're gonna get a lot of um, smoke in the air, so we get a lot of orange colors in the sunset, so we'll see how that looks. So in my bag, you'll notice there's lots of stuff here, but uh, a lot of it has to do with video. And so uh, along here, I have a safety vest, but sometimes if I'm shooting close to cars and you put that on there and some of my rig stuff for rolling, but I'm not using that. But basically my main camera is going to be Nikon Z62, it's high resolution. And uh, I'm gonna be using mostly a 24 to 120. And I do have prime lenses, but I find that this focuses a lot closer um, for some of the detail shots, uh, though I don't get as much um, ability to blur out the background with only f4 lens, but uh, I find that it's fast and I really, if I'm shooting from distance, I'm shooting f4 anyway. So I do have a polarizer on there and that is super important to get rid of um, reflections and that kind of stuff like that. I have a second body, uh, Z63, which I also have a 35 on while well, using that one for inside a little bit. And uh, it's also a much video, better video camera. And I have a ultra wide. I don't think I'll be using that tonight, 14 to 30. And that's pretty much it. Make sure you bring along um, extra batteries. Make sure you've got video cards. Uh, this has a dual, this both have dual card slots. So I'm always duplicating whatever I'm shooting. And I'm shooting in raw. I also have a drone along because I'm gonna show you the area that I'm going to be. That's a mini four. And that's kind of it. The rest of it's more for other things I'm going to be doing along the line. So this is the part of the video where I have to admit I made a mistake. I went out on the first day and I uh, had a GoPro on my forehead and well, it wasn't pointed in the right direction. So, and I also turned it off once. So I didn't have great POV. And so I did take pictures and it was really great lighting. And I will show you the POV on the cloudy day, which I'm driving now towards um, the same location. Um, but I will show you the pictures from the sunny day. I'm on this great road, which I just passed the gravel road I should have turned down. But there's so many great curves on here, and it's still pretty bumpy in comfort. Um, and I'm going decently fast, but it sure felt good. And a few more hundred kilometers, I should be able to let her tear. But anyway, um, so. I'll turn this car around, head back towards the gravel, and I'll drive super slow on the gravel because even at this slow speed, I picked a pile of rocks up into those little fender vents. So I'm definitely gonna have to get some uh, some vent um, things to uh, to stop that, to some little mesh of some, some sort. All right, there you go. The location I chose is basically outside the Red River floodway about 10 minutes outside Winnipeg. And it has some really interesting uh, hydro wires and big towers and a lot of open space like the prairies. And so what the Red River Floodway is, is a massive ditch which takes water in the spring as it comes up the Red River in flood times and moves it around Winnipeg and out towards Lake Winnipeg. There is a big gate inside the Red River and it basically raises and pushes water over a berm and into this huge wide ditch. Um, it's, it has saved Winnipeg's bacon numerous times since the 50s, but it was highly controversial when it was first built because it cost a lot of money. But now Duff Roblin is a, a hero rather than a goat that he was back when he um, wanted to make this ditch. So anyhow, again, we're gonna shoot during the evening um, and this is not the smoky evening that uh, the shots you'll see. So I'm going to basically just let you watch me take some shots, see the final pictures and see the settings that I used. 
and enjoy. Look at me sometimes like all you want to do is run. Thanks for coming along on my uh, point of view Civic Type R photo shoot. Had a lot of fun uh, photographing it and frankly uh, one of the reasons I bought the car was because of the unique and individual um, panels of the fenders and the seats and the look and the special styling cues that the Honda engineers and designers put into the, into the car. And um, my favorite time of shooting actually is coming up a little bit later in this uh, segment where you'll see with this picture, for example, the sun is set and you get a lot of those great reflections onto the car because the cars are basically mirrors. 
Anyhow, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, catch me at um, at Cool Car Crap Car Instagram, and also Merlin Braun Photography if you want to see more car shoots. <laughs>